You hid your eating disorder from your family and it ruined your relationship with them. Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be responding slash reacting to your assumptions about me. I did a little video asking for your assumptions and basically I'm just going to go through and answer a few of them. So let's get on to the video. You are single. Yep. I don't have a problem with being in a relationship. I don't think I'm ready for one at the moment because I mean, I've had, I had a rough year last year and I think this year I just need to sort of focus on myself a bit more. You need to be able to love yourself before you can learn to love other people and bring other people in your life. And I just think that'd be too much stress that I wouldn't be able to handle at the moment. You are lying about your age. I'm not, I'm 16, I was born in 2006. A lot of people asking if I'm like 12 or 13 and I'm like, no. I'm not. You are a clean freak and you're super organized. Yes, I am very organized. But I wouldn't say I'm a super clean freak. I mean, I'm, I try to keep everything clean except my room. My room, I've cleaned this much. As you can probably see, there's like a pile of stuff right there. I didn't think it would be on camera, but I'm too lazy to clean it up. Um, there is a massive pile of clothes to my left and just a mess to my right but when I'm at school I'm like super organized like everything's written in my diary my planners my laptop I've got everything there I'm not a super clean freak I just I like being organized you want to become an actress I mean I feel like most people kind of just kind of have like the aspiration to become something like huge but personally I wanted to become a singer like even when I was young I used to have little concerts for my parents or I'd just make them sit through like an hour of just me singing random songs, right? <laughs> and I would make little tickets and I had to charge them a dollar. I was a businesswoman from the start, but I kind of do want to become a singer more than I would want to become an actress. You are Australian. Yes, but a lot of people think that I'm from the US or like a lot of people ask if I'm British. I am British, but my mum was born in England, but I've been there once, so I wouldn't say I'm super British. You try to help everyone you meet. It's kind of a problem I have. Just I like to solve problems, which is why I'm really good at maths and like um, science and things because I like solving problems. But I can't like solve every problem, if you know what I mean. Like I try to help everyone and I can't help everyone. Yeah. Oh well. It's just a thing that I have. <laughs> you hid your eating disorder from your family and it ruined your relationship with them. That's a big one. Yes and no. I think at the beginning it definitely made our relationship strained and during like the in and out of hospital that was probably one of the worst relationships i'd had with my family but when i started actively choosing to recover from my eating disorder my relationship with my whole my entire family got a lot stronger because we all realized how important it was to like look after each other and care about each other and the things do happen to people and i think they realized how close i was to not being here anymore and it just sort of brought us a lot closer i think so yes and no to that assumption the next one is you are shy i mean yes again yes and no i definitely when i'm like first meeting people i'm like really shy i'm like kind of quiet i'm like i'm like hi but when i get to know people and you've probably seen it like over my channel my first video i was like hello but now i'm kind of like yeah this is chill. People from my school watch this. My family watches this. Yeah. But no, I'm definitely shy when you first meet me, but I think a lot of people are the same. Once you sort of get to know people more, I'm kind of overly confident. You didn't tell your family about your YouTube channel. I did, actually. A lot of people just kind of start YouTube and they just kind of don't tell anyone. My whole family, or not my whole family, but my like, inner circle of my family and like my medical team and my psychologist and my psychiatrist, they all knew about it. I kind of ask about it sometimes. But everyone at first was like, ooh, this could be a bad idea. Like, what if it makes you feel worse? But I definitely think it's helped me so much because it's kept me accountable for like posting and helping people because I can't be helping people if I'm not helping myself, if that makes sense. But people kind of just sort of Google me and they're like, oh, Veronica has a YouTube channel? What? So it just kind of, people just kind of find out about it, which is cool. I don't really care, but it's definitely awkward at first when they do find out. You wear coloured contact lenses. No. No, I don't. I have blue eyes, but I'm the only one 
in my immediate family that has blue eyes like a few of my cousins and like one of my uncles have blue eyes but i'm the only one in like my immediate family with blue eyes let me find some more comments oh there's like a hundred comments your zodiac sign is aquarius no but my sister is an aquarius i'm a scorpio which is kind of random but yeah there we go you were better at reading and history in school rather than math and science uh, definitely at first I was really bad at math and I just kind of gave up but in year eight so like two three years ago now no year nine two years ago which is weird well I actually was like I want to be in the extension class with the smart kids so I studied so hard and I got into that class and then I missed out on like a year of school and now I'm behind but you know majority of my classes are sciences because I just find it more challenging and I like to yeah as I said before I like to solve problems so you impulsively buy lots of clothes yeah my bank account my savings is 0 0.02 cents yeah you play an instrument i play three <laughs> well the singing i don't think singing singing isn't an instrument but it's kind of part of the musical sort of field right i play piano guitar drums and i sing our little separate brackets well that's it for this video thank you all so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so much and i will see you in the next one